Hello everyone, Rob here, also known as Arboila, and I wanted to make this tutorial video for creating icons for the iNitsua iPhone iPod Touch theme to hopefully help those who have never created icons before and have wanted to try it, and as well as to help those who are already making icons for this incredible theme. As you probably already know, Nitsua recently made a post about making sure all the icons for the iNitsua 3.0 final theme look similar. And so I'd like to show all of you just how to do that. Before we get started though, I'd like to thank everyone who has created icons so far for this theme. I appreciate that so very much, and you have been a huge help to me, and to Nitsua as well, I'm sure. Alright, let's get started. Now first you're going to need the PSD to create icons, and that can be found in the ModMy Nitsua thread over at the ModMyI forums and also on the website that I've created for the theme. If you go to the website, which is here, initsua.webs.com, you can click on Downloads, and at the very bottom, you'll see the PSD files for the landscape and portrait overlay artwork and also the icon template. So go ahead and get the icon template PSD, and once you have that downloaded, open it up in Photoshop. Alright, as you can see here, we have the icon template. Uh, you'll want to have, you'll want to make sure that all of your layers here are showing in the beginning. Um, I think when you first download the PSD, it looks something like that, but once you turn the last layer on, you'll see the bounding box for the icon and uh, also the text saying app name. Okay, so let's get started. Now you can go ahead and do this in any order that you'd like, but I, w I prefer putting in the app name before we get the artwork. So make sure you have your text tool selected here and the app name layer also highlighted and go ahead and type in your app name. You want to make sure that your font is Neotech and bold and also by default starting at size 14 point. If you need to make it any smaller, then go ahead and do that. But you want to make sure that the text doesn't go past the edge, the left edge of this white box here. So we're going to be doing the Orion's icon for Orion's Legends of Wizard. That's a really long name, so we're just going to keep it as Orion. Once you have that typed in, go ahead and click off of that layer. And now we need to get the artwork. For any apps that come from the App Store, Luciferco has generously given us this website, which is crossfire.nu slash fusen slash idb.php. And on this website, you can type in the name of any app from the App Store. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't work with jailbroken apps from Cydia or Installer. But uh, any app from the App Store, you can type in and click on either small, medium, or huge, and as you can see, it provides the artwork for the icon, which is a huge help, actually, in making images for this theme. Now, you can go ahead and save the image to your desktop or your hard drive somewhere else, but I also, uh, you could also click copy image, and I also uh, prefer this method more than saving it to my hard drive, because then I end up with a bunch of random images all over the place. So. Uh, right click and copy that image and then go back to Photoshop and open up a new document and what Photoshop is great for is uh, keeping the proportions of the image that you have copied on your clipboard so you don't have to worry about that. Just go ahead and click OK and we're going to paste that to the template here. OK, uh, we have our icon artwork here and our template off to the side. So what we need to do now is, selecting our magic wand tool, just go ahead and cut out the picture that you would like for the icon in the template. Uh, just be creative on this part. Um, what I like to do is, basically, if it's a detailed image like this, just take out the darker shaded parts, and that way you have a pretty good final image in the end. Um, so, like I said, get creative see what works, see what doesn't work. Um, for this one in particular, this is a pretty easy one. Uh, we'll go ahead and I think that looks pretty good. Uh, take out a few more. Okay, 
and once you have your icon all completed and you're satisfied with the way that it looks press control and A and that will select all and then press control C and you'll have a copied image of your recently edited photo once you have that copied go ahead and go back over to the template and make sure for the layers in the template you are selected copy this layer style Mitsua has generously and graciously provided for us all of the work that we need finished so he has the color overlay effect he has the 30 percent opacity um, everything that we need for the style of the icon is already finished for us so as long as you paste your picture in this layer you should be fine so make sure that's highlighted and go ahead and press control V and paste the image in there okay so this is a pretty huge image that's why we can't see it yet but uh... we're finished with this now we can close that and what you want to do is just select your move tool because we'll be moving that around in a few minutes and press control T and you'll see this bounding box come up once that box is up hold down the shift key that way when you resize the box it keeps its proportion. So go ahead and scale that down until it fits in that white box that Mitsua has provided for us. Alright, that's a bit too small. Okay. So you can use the arrow keys to get a more precise placement and as you can see on the upper right here uh, a more zoomed in photo of what you're working with. So just scale that to the white box, press enter, and there you have it. We're finished with the icon, all except for making the rest of this transparent, because obviously you want to get rid of that gray box and the white box behind the artwork. So in order to do that, just make sure that in your layers here, the very last one called test background, go ahead and turn that off, and that'll get rid of the gray box and then two above that which is the third to the last which says recommended icon design area turn that off as well and once you have those turned off all of your layers should be turned on except for those two uh, don't go by my PSD here this is something that I was working on with the previous icon that remained there so uh, you won't have that on your PSD you can also keep that on but just make sure the last and the third to the last layers are turned off and you should see something like this and once you have that just go ahead and hit save as it's important that you hit save as because if you click save you'll overwrite your template PSD and you don't want to do that uh, okay so once you have it saved we'll just save this to the desktop here and save it as a PNG obviously click save and there we have it here's our icon in PNG format and in order to get a landscape version of this all you simply need to do is right click and click rotate clockwise and you'll have a landscape ready version of the icon alright thanks very much for watching I hope all of you enjoyed this and I hope a lot more icon makers will be emerging from this video and I look forward to seeing all the great work that Mitsua has in store for us thanks very much for watching take care